guys in today's video I'm doing another Easter Bunny I know but I drew three of them last week and I wanted to finish the last one into a painting this one's a little bit different style and it's much quicker painting and it's more of an illustrated style so I'm gonna be showing you how to do this really cute little Easter Bunny he's really simple to draw I will share my sketch with you it's be linked on my website and I'll have it in the comments on the video so if you want to go off my sketch I'll link that for you to use and it's really cute and simple and it doesn't take long to paint. If you want to share yours with me, I'd love to see it on my Instagram. You can use my tag, Mrs. Hand Painted. Hope you enjoy it. Let's paint. All right, today I am using this Fluid 100 watercolor paper sample pack. There was three sheets in here, size 8 by 10. I got this from uh, one of those Buy It, Try It deals on Jerry's Artorama, so I thought I would give this paper another go. And I transferred my sketch over to this paper. Um, I just did the basic outline, didn't do all the details. Uh, this other style of bunny, this is the third one of the drawings I did last week while my kids were taking naps and rest time. So I got a chance to do a little bit of sketching. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this and just do this in a more of a simple style and hopefully this one will be a shorter video today. Right, and I'm going to be using some Princeton Velvet Touch brushes again. I got my round eight, round four, and a one. And then probably just for the feather and the grass today, I'll use my Filbert Greener again. It's the Princeton Select Artiste brush. All right, so for my bunny, I want him to be kind of white-ish looking, but I want to do a little bit of gray, I guess. So I had mixed up previously the ultramarine and the Bernstein light so I'm going to mix that up again oh I think I have a little black mixing in there by accident okay so I'm just going to go around the edges of his ears here, where it will be the darkest. And I did do my sketch with the um, Faber-Castell uh, Aqua Aquarelle Graphite Pencil, so it is water-soluble graphite. Alright, so after I do that I'm going to rinse my brush and then I'm going to use that wet brush to just spread that color around and blend that in. I'm just going around my drawing here where I put my flowers and my eggs and I've got a feather I drew in there. All right, so going around the outside edge of the face and I kind of have just his chin coming here it's a really simple design I didn't get crazy detailed on this one it's just a different style here so I'm gonna blend that in I should have erased a little bit more of my pencil here. I'm going to try and blend that as much as I can. All right, and I'll just do a little darker right here in the edges. this paper is a little bit different because it's not 100% cotton so it's a little bit different in how it's taking the water here I'm not very happy with this edge here not blending 
for my drawing. I might just do an outline on him in the end because it's just not blending. So I guess that'll I'll just do that as part of my part of my finished painting is I'll do a little bit of an outline, I guess, just to try to go over that pencil line that's kind of coming through. I guess that's a disadvantage of using those graphite pencils is that if you're not doing a darker color over the top, you kind of end up with um, the line showing through. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do my little details on my ears. I'm gonna switch to my size four here. And I'm gonna do this feather first. I also want that to be a gray color. Um, maybe a little bit more concentrated though. I'm gonna take a little bit of this neutral tint as well. And just add in, actually I'm going to grab my filbert grainer here. Get that all washed off. I had some green still in it, I think. Here. I'm going to do that little texture for the feather here. I guess that would go up, wouldn't it? Okay, I'll let that layer dry and then I'll add some little details over the top of it. Maybe I'll just do a little darker here up at the top and let that blend in. Dry that that color in a little bit more. Okay, I'll add some more details on that. Okay, I'll go ahead and do this daffodil. I'm going to use some Hansa Yellow Light. Yeah, definitely going to be doing an outline. Okay. For my center here, I think I'll try just to do the yellow deep. I'll just do the Hansa yellow deep for that. And I'll probably go back over this after it dries, just to add a little more detail. Okay, um, I don't want these eggs to bleed into that, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on to my centers of my ear. And I'm going to do this quinacridone rose, but I'm just going to water it down quite a bit. So it's a very pale pink. And I made this kind of, he's more geometric, I guess, than the other bunnies I did, which were, I was trying to do a little more realistic looking, but he is very much an illustrated style. Oh, and I've got some bleeding here on my yellow, so I'm just going to lift some of that color up really quickly here. I shouldn't have done that center quite so fast. That's one of my flaws here with watercolors. I'm very impatient. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do his face. Whoops. Ah, and then I went and knocked it right into that paint. Okay, I'm going to do some ivory black and then I'll do this quinacridone rose for his nose. So um, I'll just go ahead and get that rose first.
And I'm using my size one round here again, sorry. And just being careful not to touch that pink. Okay. I'm um, sticking with my black here. Like I said, I said, decided I was just going to do an outline. So I'm just going to do these details here on his paws in the black. And I'll go ahead and add some of my outlines here. And I'll do the rest of the outlines after those other small details dry, but I'll just go ahead and add these right now. And I can just kind of vary my thickness and I can leave some gaps just to give it a little more interest here and perfectly outlined. Okay. All right, um, with that same ivory black, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple little details on this feather. So I'll do a line coming down here, maybe a few little lines coming out this way, and we'll do some small little dots up here. this egg right here and I think I'll do a blue so I have some phthalo turquoise still on my palette here I'll just use that and if I accidentally go into there I can just cover that up with my outline later And then after that layer dries, I'll, I'll add some kind of detail over my egg. Um, this one, I'll just do some of that rose color. Get a little bit more here. Um, I should have switched to my four for this. A little easier, but that works. Right, and then I also had a little flower sticking out here. Let's see. I don't want to really add any more color, so I'll just use that Hansa Yellow Deep. It can just be a generic-ish flower there. And I'll just add a little green leaf here. Oops. I touched that. Lift that up, and if you bleed into another color, what you can do is clean your brush off, dry it off on your paper towel, and then you can lift the paint up and then dab it on your paper towel. So if you and here, I'm bleeding into my egg as well. I'm gonna switch over to my four here. All right, I'll make lemons out of lemonade and just kind of blend that in. It'll be a peachy color then. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just finish out my outlines here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use my dryer really quick, just make sure this is all dry so I don't have any more bleeding. Okay, now I can do some more outlines with my black. eyes there a little bit. Okay. 
again, just a little bit of a different style here is all. Alright, and before I do any details on my eggs, I'm just going to dry that really quick. So that drips here. I'm going to take a little bit more of that handsome yellow light and just do a little bit more yellow in there. Mix a little bit of that yellow deep in there just to give that a little more go back over my yellow flower here just a little bit okay I'm gonna take my quinacridone rose and I think I'm gonna do some dots this one will be like a polka dot egg and just do some that are kind of coming off the edge of that stripe egg for my my turquoise egg okay so the last little detail I wanted to do is some grass along the bottom so I'm going to use some sap green I had on my palette still just with that I'm using my filbert greener here and I'm just going to have him in a bunch of grass some kind of taller strokes for this and he is sitting in the grass and you just want to vary the direction that you go on your grass a little bit maybe have it get a little shorter as you go out to the sides there I like him he's pretty cute Just add my initials down here. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I hope you really like doing this different style of an illustr more of an illustration style for an Easter Bunny watercolor painting. If you want to share yours with me, I'd love to see it. You can use my hashtag Mrs. Hand Painted.